Chapter 26 This is a hospital? Ashley said in the dark. What are we doing here? They used IVs on me too. Maybe we do have a disease from the creatures. Rabies or something. Did one bite you? I can't remember. I felt its claws puncturing my wrist in Jeff's office. Were poisoned or infected? Ashley was confused. But why was I handcuffed to my bed? Am I dangerous? Like I'll turn into something awful because of a monster venom? I'm not afraid of you. Were you handcuffed? No. Ashley thought for several moments. Your skin was punctured. You're more likely to be infected than me. So why was I the only one handcuffed? Tina's hands touched Ashley's wrists. The monster didn't sink its claws into you. Ashley touched her right wrist and for the first time noticed the self-inflicted cuts she used to have were gone. Not even scars remained. How much time had passed since she was admitted here? Hospitals are supposed to heal sick people. Are we sick? Tina said, I don't feel sick. So why do we need medication and rest? What are we doing here? Maybe we're getting better, the girl guessed. Maybe it takes a while for the poison to get out. I don't trust them. She noticed a motherly, protective feeling resided within her for Tina. She really didn't want this girl to be harmed. Where do they keep patient files? Maybe the nurse's station, but I can't find it. Footsteps came from the hallway. Ashley asked quickly, How did you know my name? I saw it on a chart hanging on your bed when I was exploring. The door opened and the light flickered on. Tina grabbed Ashley's arm. Ashley's heart felt like it had stopped. She heard slow footsteps. Plastic pails and wooden broom handles scraped along the floor. Then tomb silence. She could see a figure through a crack in the wood paneling. He wore a brown work shirt and pants, black shoes, and his face was scarred from acne. His brown hair was cut short, as in it military style. A white tag on his shirt read, Ronald Burns, janitor staff. He spun, eyes probing, crossing the crack Ashley looked through, and she held her breath. His eyes went back to the crack. He began slowly walking towards it. Tina stiffened alongside Ashley's side. Her hand tightened around Ashley's arm. From down the hall, someone called, Ron, where are you? But Ron continued towards the door panel. Ron! After several more seconds, Ashley was no longer able to hold her breath. She feared she would grasp for air and give away their hiding place. Tina's hand squeezed her arm so hard it hurt. But then someone in white stood at the door. Hey, did you hear me, idiot? Ron paused only four steps from the wood panel. We need your help. You don't get paid for nothing, you know. He turned around. Yeah, I'll be right there. Now. Ron sighed. He looked disappointed. His footsteps receded. Darkness as the lights went off and the door clicked shut. She gasped and breathed noisily, as did Tina. She just wanted to be back, safely in her bedroom with Tina. She wanted Jeff to know they were safe and to not worry. Why did shadow creatures and this hospital need girls? Girls were supposed to be in school, studying, going to dances, cheerleading, playing soccer, powder puff football, volleyball, texting friends, spending time with family and friends. Girls were not supposed to be recovering from attacks. 
called Bitches, stalked by janitors and handcuffed to hospital beds. Ashley wasn't convinced she and Tina were going to be all right. <laughs>